Hi guys and welcome back. If you are new here, then welcome to me, my design laser files. I have been working on a bunch of light burn tutorials to show you how to draw different shapes. So far we've made Christmas trees, stars and snowflakes and today I'll teach you how to draw hearts using shapes and lines in light burn. I am in my Christmas doodles folder and the first thing you want to do is go to window, view style and pick wireframe smooth. To draw hearts is really pretty simple. Um, you choose your rectangle tool and you make a rectangle. I'll just make mine black. Hit your uh, arrow key up here. And now you want to go in and edit the width and the height. You can change this to whatever because you are designing a SVG and you can scale it up or down as you want. But for the width, you do want to add a width that can be uh, divided by two. Uh, and I will make it like this instead because it's not the width, it's actually the height when it's rotating this way. So I just created a width on 80 millimeters, 8 centimeters and 5 centimeters in height and it's about, I can do this in inches actually if this is easier. So let's make it 2 in height and 3 in width. Then you go to your radius tool and since my height is 2 inches I want to have my radius divided by 2 which is 1. So now I just want to click the corners here. I'll then choose my arrow. I will duplicate and I will go to a range and rotate it 90 degrees. I'll then select the other shape and I'll go to align right and align bottom. If I had made this rectangle longer, you can see what will happen. I'll just do it like this. I'll rotate. Oops. And I will align right and align bottom. So now I have an open heart and I have a more closed heart. You can make your hearts in so many ways by doing this. Let's try this one as well. Duplicate. Rotate. And align. To have these upright, I will just, I can click all three and rotate them 45 degrees. And now they are standing up. Then I can go in and hit Weld all shapes together. And I actually just made three different halves and group them because what you can do now if you're not completely satisfied like this one it's pretty closed you can go in and hit node edit so for this I will maybe round the sides here just a little and you just grab the lines that you want I will take this down just a little and I'll take this width and then you can go in and kind of shape everything inside here. If you move these handles, you can also shape it a little more or round it, curve it. And this will not look perfect, but it maybe gives you an idea. Let's just move this over here. 
So another way that you can draw hearts, and this is actually my favorite way of doing it, you grab your line tool, click, and if you hold down your shift key or command key if you're on a Mac, it will be perfect straight. So oops. let's try this again. You don't want to keep your click for long because then it will curve the line. Once you have your line snap, just hit escape and it will release. So now I want to draw a heart using lines. So I will just go ahead and draw another line here. For the other side, I will just make it snap to the end here. So you can draw whatever you want over here. And then I will grab my note tool. I'll pick this triangle that I just made and I can go in and flip this how I want it. I can use these notes to um, move it a little more. And once I feel like I have my heart or half the heart that I want, I think this will be good. I will make sure that this um, half heart is set to fill, so I will go up and take my black color and set it to fill instead of line. I will then go in and uh, create a square with the line here as a guide point, because if I then pick my heart first and then hold down control, and pick the square. I can go in to tools and pick cut shapes. So this will actually cut this to half. If I had lines, this middle part would have been open. Let's move it back. And I just want to delete sorry, <laughs> this silly shape over here. So this one I want to duplicate and I want to flip it or mirror it horizontally and then I can use my line here to align it to. So I will align left and then you just have to grab these two. I can move them from the line and you hit wilt. So now I made a drawn hard instead and I actually like this a whole lot better. You can, let's just create one more just to show you again. So I click my guideline and I go out and make a triangle or a square or whatever. Just make sure that it snaps in the middle. Then I go to node edit and I can shape my heart. So I want this to go down a little. And you always have your guideline here to align it to. So let's try and make this a little longer and a little smaller. So again, I will create a square. I'll make sure that everything that I'm drawing with is set to fill and then I will go up in tools and pick cut shapes. I'll delete this and I'll duplicate and I'll flip it over. I will align left and another thing that I could do instead of welding is also to ungroup and hit edit notes. I can now go in and hover over this middle line and hit the letter D. That will 
delete the inner part as well. And once you have this heart, you can shape it a little more if you want by just dragging the corners. I'll just group it again. And it's really as easy as this. If I want something to be a little more rounded, I can go in and create an offset and pick round here, outward, and you see how it will round the button. Instead of deleting, I'll actually keep this because this is also a great way to make ornaments. I will have a bunch of tutorials coming up later just to show you how to create different projects um, by using these design elements that we are creating now. But this gives you a little idea on how to draw a heart. I hope you could use this. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. I really want people to engage with my videos so I can help you even more. So if you have any specific uh, requests for something to show you, please leave it in the comments and I'll see if I can make a tutorial really soon. I hope you have a nice day and I hope to see you soon.